Hello everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I have another fun finds Friday for you. Every Friday I've been posting fun finds from wherever I've been shopping in the last week. And plus anything else I may have forgotten from the week before, honestly. <laughs> so uh, that's what I've been doing and I love it. And you guys seem to be loving it too, so I thought I would keep on. So this week I went to Michael's, Goodwill, and Dollar Tree, and most of it is Goodwill, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to start off with Michael's though. I picked up the another pack of the dual brush pens by Tombow, and they look like this. They're not in here. I'll show you where they are in a moment, um, but this is the pastel palette and um, I love these. Now at Michael's they are ridiculously priced at like $26.99 or $27 or something like that um, and you can get them on Amazon for $15 to $16 but they sent me a 60% off coupon so I got them for $10 so I was really excited about that. So that is a great deal on Tombow Pens and I've been learning to letter. I can letter my name now pretty well. It took me three days to be able to do it but I'm, I'm trying and I'm getting better so um, I gotta get some of that muscle memory going. So I grabbed those and I keep them in this little container, which is also from Michaels. I got this quite a while ago for my embroidery, but I grew out of it for my embroidery, so I got a bigger one, like the, the taller one, um, also a while ago, and I'm using this for my Tombow pens because I like to lay them flat. Um, so for single-ended pens, you know, like a regular pen like these, I don't mind um, storing them vertically as long as it's upside down so the tip stays wet. But with my Tombow pens, I like to lay them flat like this in the bottom of, of the container um, because they have a tip on both ends. So it's best to lay them flat so both ends are not drying out, I guess <laughs> you could say. I was going to say the M word that nobody on the internet likes. Okay, so... That's how I've been storing those. And last but not least, I picked up this little, uh, hopefully you can see that, uh, bouquet. These little bouquets are normally $10, but they were on sale for 40% off, so I got it for six. Um, and I actually, I have the same bouquet that I bought last year, and I'd wished that I had gotten another one, and I was so excited when I saw this because I just love this. Um, there's a lot of like whitish yellow flowers as well as a lot of coralish pink flowers but I like the true mauve and this has a little bit of that limey green and I thought that was beautiful so I grabbed this one excited about it Excuse me. so last but not least I picked up this um, Mom Life is the Best Life mini uh, sticker book from Create365 for my planner, and it looks like this. Uh, it was on sale for $10, not a great deal, but you know, better than Walmart. Walmart, there's 12 to 13, so I grabbed that. Um, but I am looking for just some plain box stickers that I can write down important um, things, like super important things, like appointments that I cannot forget and stuff like that in my planner. So if you guys know of a sticker booklet, something that I can get pretty easily. I don't want to go through Etsy and have them printed and shipped and stuff like that. Just something I can go pick up where I, it's just a box full of like, of the boxes, or a sticker book full of the boxes and maybe even just some bullet points. Um, I would love that. In the mini size, the, the regular size Happy Planner stickers are way too big for my little planner. So if I would greatly appreciate it if you guys know. Um, there's not many sticker books at my Michaels, so I don't know. And then my Walmart has like three or four, so <laughs> same z's. Okay, next up is, uh, let's do Dollar Tree. I grabbed a couple of coasters at Dollar Tree because I don't know where mine are. These ones have like a new design on them that I hadn't seen before. Um, but these usually stain up pretty well because it's not sealed or anything. So I may seal them or decoupage them. Ooh, I just had an idea. <laughs> um, decoupage them uh, and then seal them. But I needed some coasters. And I had actually picked up a cup of pack of coasters from Home Goods. 
uh, on January 1st actually uh, and I was so excited because they were marbled, they were gorgeous, they were super heavy and then I really came to the realization that if somebody drops them on the, my floor it's probably going to bang up my floor pretty good so I put them back. They were gorgeous but not worth ruining my floor because I know my son will drop them and so will Josie. On to Goodwill. I I do thrift with me's at Goodwill on Instagram every time I go. Uh, so if you're not watching me on Instagram, you probably should because I don't do a lot of uh, talking during the videos. I just show the good stuff I find every once in a while. I'll give you, I'll pop in and give you an idea of why I liked it so much. Um, but and it, every time we do that, it never fails. There's always somebody that says. Uh, several people, but not, it's not always the same person. Somebody will say, you know, can you pick this up for me and I'll pay you for it. And, and they'll do it. I don't mind doing that um, because I, <laughs> I know that I would want somebody to do it for me, right? But uh, I found this jug and my sister-in-law fell in love with it. It was five nine or no four ninety nine, and it's a coriander jug and it just looks like an old whiskey jug. Oh goodness. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to, but it says coriander on it and it's gorgeous. It's like that, I don't know, vintagey farmhouse. It has that vintagey farmhouse look to it. So um, I grabbed that for her. With this next item, I was so excited because it is so me. And when you guys see it, you're gonna flip if you like my style. <laughs> but I found this vintage floral wallpaper. It's just gorgeous. I love it. It's going in all the places on all the things. I will photocopy it and <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I just love this. This is so exciting. When I was in high school and in college, I used to cover my uh, textbooks with wallpaper and um, I could still do that with this, but um, yeah, I was so excited to do some projects with this. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something. Oh, I do know what it's going to be. <laughs> just had an idea okay then I found a table square and it just it's simple white it's in like an ivory color it has the there we go the detail going down it is just gorgeous gorgeous quality and I love it it was a dollar 99 so I paid a dollar 50 for it um, I don't know if I mentioned, but the wallpaper was $2.99. So, got that. Love this. And I cannot wait to decorate with it. I already have an idea of what I'm going to do with it. And if I don't put it at the end of this video, I will make sure I'll, and do an, a fresh video with it in there for you. And then I also picked up this. This is $2.99. This one I fell in love with. I actually fell in love with a different one and I was gonna get it, but I had a little I found a little hole in it. So I grabbed this one instead because I did love this one. Um, and then this is was one of those items that one of those people said, hey, can you pick this up for me? I was like, nope, I'm sorry, I already have it in my cart for myself. <laughs> was that mean? Maybe. But um, it was $2.99. So I grabbed it. I paid $2.25 for it. Gorgeous. Love it. Look at it with the table square. Can you see that? Ugh, I love it, okay. Then I found a curtain, just a simple old curtain and this curtain is going to be pillow covers for my couch. I am in dire need of pillow covers and I haven't found the right fabric. I really wanted that denim blue like ticking stripe but I wanted the bigger like the wider stripes and I haven't been able to find it. I went to Joann's, I went to a few places and I just haven't been able to find it. I can get it on online fabric store for like exorbitant prices, but um, so I just found this one. I'm gonna bring it up close, hopefully you can see it. So it just looks like this and it's just one big curtain. It has the giant grommets at the bottom, um, which doesn't bother me because I'm gonna be cutting them off anyway, but I'm gonna get a couple of pillow covers out of this. I seriously need some new pillow covers real bad. Okay. Two items from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going back to Goodwill and you'll see why. <laughs> okay, I picked up two of the little terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to use these in a craft or anything. Um, I just got these from my daughter. My daughter Alexandra has a spider plant that has so many babies on it um, and she's already got some that are already rooted. So um, I got a couple of these for the ones that are rooted so she can use the, the vessels that she has the rooted ones in for rooting more. And then my daughter Madeline wants some. So um, she's interested in having more plants in my room. My girls have plants all over their bedroom. So 
Uh, I grabbed a couple of these and then I'll probably just go get a couple. I didn't know why I didn't think of doing that while I was at Goodwill, but uh, a couple of little saucers to put them on. And then last thing from the Dollar Tree was uh, this smoky liner brush from Wet n Wild. I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I had asked my daughter just a couple days ago, like, hey, uh, do you have a little smudge brush or something I can borrow? Because I gave, uh, I broke up with eyeliner like a year ago. I have not wore eyeliner. I had just been using whatever dark brown, the darkest brown eyeshadow I could find and using that because eyeliner will give me, uh, as I get older, I've always had hooded eyes my entire life, but as I get older, if I wear eyeliner, it has to be tight lined or I would get a black ring way up here on my eyes. Or like, it looks like a black rainbow basically. So I got this and it doesn't happen when I use just black, or not black, um, I've never wore black, just um, dark brown. Um, oh yeah, that'll probably work really nicely. Uh, There we go. Um, eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, my word, you guys, just to get it up under there. And I never ever go to all the way to the inside either. I only do the outer third of my eye. Uh, and then I do my whole upper lid. Uh, yeah, upper lid, but only the outer. There's, my eyes just look weird. <laughs> They're too big, y'all. Okay. Last item I got, I'm really excited about. I was looking for something, I've been looking for something long and narrow for the top of my closet, so I was really excited when I found this. It was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it, and it's just this basket here. And I thought it was perfect. It's gonna go in the top of my closet. I think I already said that, but um, and I will show you what that looks like later as well. Let's see. Why is my exposure going crazy today? It keeps changing on me. Maybe it's because the sun is moving. Okay. Last but not least is probably one of my favorite items. I have been on a pewter kick lately. It is crazy. This was $3.99. I paid $3 for it, but look at this, you guys. I hope this is, doesn't blow out the exposure again, but look. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. I love it. But oh, yes, please. I love this thing. It has the little feet underneath and you can see like, can you see the divots and the dimpling in there? Cannot wait to clean this up and put this to use. Oh, I'm so excited. I so love this thing. It has some kind of residue on it, but I'm thinking I should be able to get it off. But yes, I don't know where that's from. But I feel like this is like Pottery Barn or West Elm or Williams Sonoma quality type stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's old. I don't know. But that is what I have for you for my Fun Finds Friday this week. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye!